Hello, everyone. Welcome into the View House Centennial. And it's a beautiful night outside here on a Monday night. And it is a fantastic night here in the View House. Why? Because we got defenseman Sean Walker in the house. Kind enough to join us on a day off towards the end of the season. Sean, thank you so much for taking the time today. No problem. Thanks for having me. We are so happy to have you. And <clears throat> I know last night's game, the result wasn't what we wanted. But, but let's start with that first goal. You're the first <laughs> one to find the back of the net. You've been scoring at a pretty high clip here, a little higher than you were in Philly. Mm -hmm. Can you pinpoint maybe why? Um, I don't know if there's a specific reason. But, you know, I think this is kind of a high-powered offensive team. Yeah. Um, Specifically, I want to be a player that can do that and contribute offensively. And um, that's kind of the green light that I was given as soon as I got here. You know, they, they want you up in the rush. They want you making plays offensively. Um, and it's worked out. You know, I, I think I was getting some chances and more looks as well in Philly. But, um, you know, sometimes the puck just doesn't go in the net. And it's, uh, like you said, last night, kind of a funny goal. But... Uh, you know, it's going in right now, and I'll, I'll take them as they come. That's got to imagine feel good if you come here. That's the goal you want to do. And they say, yeah, we want you to be that player. How much does that empower you? Yeah, you know, um, obviously you get traded. Um, that feels good at this time of year. Obviously, a team wants you to come to a team that's a Stanley Cup contender. So to come here and, um, you know, you want to you wanna make an impact right away. And I, I've been fortunate enough to have been put in opportunities and it capitalized on them. Um, but, you know, it's 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 been a really fun experience so far, and I'm really enjoying my time. Take us back to about a month ago you get traded. Obviously, it's just the business side is so crazy. You got to move here. You got family. Mm -hmm. But what was your first reaction when you hear you're going to the Colorado Avalanche? Yeah. Um, obviously, head kind of spinning at the time. But, yeah. um, you know, there was lots of trade rumors kind of swirling around my name the whole year. Mm -hmm. And Colorado was never one of them. So mm -hmm. I was kind of very shocked at, when I first heard. Um, but then after that kind of passes, I was very excited. Yeah. You know, I, I know the caliber of players we have on this team and, you know, the standards that are set and the goals that they want to achieve. And to be a part of it now is really exciting. You talk about those standards. I'm curious, when you got here, <clears throat> what is, is the vibe in the dressing room? I mean, how do these guys conduct themselves on, on the day-to-day -day basis? Anything that maybe surprised you or you're like, wow, that's great? Um, I don't think anything surprised me. You know, I think it's known around the league pretty well how, how Colorado carries themselves. And it's the top down, you know, the leaders with Nate, Kale, um, Taves, Landis Gog, mm -hmm. all those guys. Um, you know, it's, it's day in, day out. They're the first guys on the ice, the last one's off. Doing extra, lifting, biking, eating right. It's, it's, it's really contagious to see the level of commitment that they put towards their bodies and their game. And of course, uh, the fans have a really high expectation here too. Everybody cannot wait for the playoffs. The Stanley Cup, of course, mm -hmm. always the ultimate goal. You've played in, in a few playoff games, but I'm curious, how do you manage your expectation for what we expect to be a pretty long playoff run? Yeah, you know, I think you don't want to get too far ahead of yourselves, obviously. You yeah. just want to kind of take it day by day. Um, but like you said, the expectation's high. This is an organization that um, has a winning history and they want to continue to do that. So coming in, I hope I can help. And, you know, that's this, that's the page everybody's on right now. So we're just going to go forward, hopefully play our best hockey here the last four games and roll into playoffs feeling good. You certainly have helped and you just seem like a seamless fit on this team. It works so well. But from your perspective, Sean, I'm curious, why do you feel like you're a good fit for the Avs? Yeah, you know, I think I think I'm a definitely a more offensive minded player, mm -hmm. um, skate pretty well and try to try to co contribute offense when I can. So that's something you, you, I've seen for years playing against them is how fast they transition, get up in the play. Fourth man's always joining, um, just making plays and stuff happens for them with the talent they have. So to be able to just kind of be another outlet for those guys and hopefully capitalize on those chances has been something I've been trying to do. And I, I think it's worked pretty well. How hard was it like the first couple weeks to be as skate as fast as they do with the altitude? <laughs> uh, it, I know how it is from from playing here, yeah. so it's just something you try to manage, um, catch your breath when you can, but uh, you, you do your best and you adjust and yeah. you, you know what it's going to be, but at the same time, the other teams are dealing with it too, so you just go out there, work your hardest, and... Uh, Hopefully, hopefully things work out. Sucking a little wind and it's all good. Yeah, it's all good. Well, we, you know, it's, it's all good tonight because we got Sean Walker in the house. We're so thrilled to have you here. Such a treat getting close to the playoffs. We got a lot more coming up here on Xfinity Monday Live. Welcome back into the View House Centennial for just a fantastic Xfinity Monday Live. We got Sean Walker in the house. Such a treat for us tonight. Playoffs coming around the corner. And of course, you got a whole bunch of new teammates. I assume you got to, you know, you got to know everybody by now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was... Uh... 
there was four of us that got traded here yeah. at the time, so it was kind of nice to come here. We were all at the hotel together and yeah. all ride into the rink and everything. So it was it was an easy transition. Now I know when when the Avs brought in the four of you, a lot of guys, Nathan McKinnon specifically, were really excited about it. It was something similar to what they did two years ago when they went on that cup run, and Nate was just kind of saying, "Yeah, we're like we're, we're really energized by it." What did that mean for you to see that the team be so excited? to have you and go for the goal that you're going yeah, for. Yeah, for sure. And uh, like I said before, you know, you want to you want to come in and make an impact yeah. and for them to express that it, it was it was really nice and I think everyone's fit in pretty well and done a great job so far. Let's talk about Kale McCarr. Kale McCarr, why not, right? <laughs> um, but we have read some stuff before that you have said before you like to take some of the things from his game. So what's it like being on a team with Kale and what do you try and take from his game? Yeah, I mean, it's a lot nicer than playing against yeah. Kale. So, uh, Geez, I mean, obviously the best defenseman in the league. It's, it's, it's amazing to watch the things he does night in, night out. I don't think you can really take stuff from his game because yeah. it, is, it is so special what he does. Um, but just, just the way he, he plays the game, you know, the way he jumps in the rush, the stuff he does with the puck, shooting at the right times, making the right passes, and at doing all that, defending really hard. So mm -hmm. um, it, there's not much else to say. He's yeah. the best, best D-man in the league. I think he's going to be like that his whole career. Um, playing against him was always a nightmare, and yeah. it's really nice to be on his team now. Yeah, we always say he's going to need a bigger trophy case. Yeah, I think the trophy case is probably too full already. Absolutely. It's it's just a matter of time. Yeah, and then there's another guy, Nathan McKinnon, mm -hmm. who's just out of this world. Yep. What's it like playing, practicing against Nate? Not fun. It's, <laughs> uh, like I said before, the, the intensity is always there. Yeah. Whether it's practice or game time, he's going to bring it. So um, defending against him can be very challenging. Uh, I experienced that throughout the years already. So, And then he brings it in practice. And, you know, that's what a top player is going to do. Um, there's no days off for him. And it's 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 not, not fun to be playing against him in practice. But, you know, that's what he's going to do. And. He, he does it on the other on the ice to other other players and I, I couldn't be more happy that he's on my team now well you guys are kind of in that really tough part of the season where it's like the slog before you mm -hmm. get to playoffs such a long season uh, Jared Benner said something kind of interesting today that it was a similar thing that happened a couple of years ago you almost turn your brains off a little bit so how do you manage right now kind of staying in it but also getting yourself ready physically mm -hmm. and mentally for playoffs yeah I think right now this time of year it's just more about the little details um, we, we know we clinched the playoff spot, uh, but there is still stipulations, obviously home ice, um, things like that. So we want to be playing our best hockey, but at the end of the day, we know the playoffs are coming up mm -hmm. and it's going to be those fine little details that are going to really matter. So we, we've talked about those. We discussed it. We had a good meeting today about some things that we got to tighten up, mm -hmm. and I think it's going to help us a lot going forward. Well, just four games to go, and then we got the postseason. Mm -hmm. We cannot wait. We got a lot more coming up here on Monday Live with Sean Walker, but we got to take a break right now. So, all right, thanks so much, Mech, and it's time now for the People Want to Know. People Want to Know brought to you by Common Spirit, official healthcare partner of the Denver Broncos and champions for the communities we serve. We actually got this question several times, but I'm going to give the credit to Donald. He wants to know, what do we got to do to keep you in an ab sweater next season? <laughs> uh, I'll let my agent kind of figure that one out <laughs> obviously there's uh there's an economic side of it obviously i'm getting older so we kind of got to make sure that some things are taken care of but um i've loved my time here in colorado it's such an awesome place to play the organization's been top class so it's definitely something that i would consider and i, I want to keep my door open to that possibility well we love to hear it that's <laughs> good news for abs faithful uh trish wants to know do you have any pregame superstitions i i i I've thought about this a lot because it is a question that comes up. I don't really have anything crazy, but I did notice that I kind of always dress my left side. Like I'll put okay. my left skate on, then my right one, my left elbow pad, then my right one okay. and stuff like, like that. It. But besides that, nothing else, nothing, yeah. nothing too crazy. I It'll like throw that. me off. You know what they always say? It's only crazy if it doesn't work. Exactly. So just a and little stitious. A little stitious. Yeah. We like and it's that. been working. So we like that. Yeah. That's great. Well, that was the people want to know brought to you by Common Spirit. We got to take a quick break. But coming up next, we're going to talk about your first goal. Remember okay. Remember your first goal? I do. All right. We'll talk about that on the other side coming up here on Xfinity Monday Live. What a good night here on Monday Live. Sean Walker in the house, kind enough to join us before what we expect to be a very long playoff run. Yep. Uh, but I want to go back to your very first goal against none other than the Colorado Avalanche. Have these, have, has anybody chirped you about it yet? No one has. I, I'm not sure if they remember. It's been a while now. But, um, yeah, New Year's, New Year's Eve 2018, I think. 
Um, I actually had scored earlier in the game, okay. and it was waved off for goalie interference, which I disagreed with. But it ended up being a wraparound later in the game, and uh, pretty unconventional for a D-man to score their first goal as a, a wraparound. But um, you know, like I said, I tried to be an offensive defenseman and put myself in those positions, and um, it worked out. And I, I might have to chirp Nico about it because I see that he was yeah, a lot skated by there. So, there you go. I love it. Uh, yeah, it's it's a great memory. Obviously, your yeah. first one, you never forget. And. Um, Unfortunately for the abs, it was against them, but I'm not sure we even won that game, so I'm sure they'll forgive me. Good memory, though. You know, on, on an unrelated note, I'm glad the abs don't have the black pa shorts anymore. I like yeah, the, uh, the blue no, shorts. No, I, I think they've evolved into a better more color more, scheme. Yeah. yeah, it looks good, and I, I, I think I look good in the color, so I like it. I think it. so, too. I think yeah. you fit in great, and we're glad that you are scoring goals for the abs yes. now instead of against them. Sean, this has been such a treat. Thank you so much for taking the time. We appreciate it so much. We're so happy to have you in Colorado, and we can't wait to see what you do in the playoffs. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Thanks so much, and guys, thank you for joining us. We will see you tonight at 10 o'clock. Hello, everyone. Thanks for logging on to CBSColorado.com. Time now for a few extra minutes with ABS defenseman Sean Walker, kind enough to join us tonight. Actually, we were just talking about, Sean, the uh, outdoor game mm -hmm. down at the Air Force Academy, but you were on the opposite side of that. Yep. And this video came out recently of Gabe yes. chirping. Yeah. Uh, why was Gabe so frustrated? He was uh, not a fan of the 131. <laughs> Obviously, that LA plays. Um, it's been a topic of conversation lately again. And, yeah. Uh, it can be very frustrating to play against and to play for us too. But um, if, if, if it's working well, it frustrates other teams and it, it uh, can really stymie them, especially against a high offensive team. So I was really uh, glad and fortunate enough that it worked out that, that yeah. night for us. Yeah, but now we're uh, more fortunate that you are with the Colorado Avalanche now. And as you get prepared, talk about that different systems. When you guys get prepared for the playoffs mm -hmm. and you know you're gonna face different kinds of, of teams, how do you prepare for what could be any team, right? And any different kind of system. Yeah, um, obviously there is a lot of preparation that goes into it. And um, Jared Bednar, he, he's got to be one of the best. You know, his meetings are so detailed, so analytically based. Um, he gives us all the information. So we're super prepared um, and we'll do that for any team. You know, we'll, there are different systems um, and he'll make sure we know that. But at the end of the day, it's more about us and what we're going to do. And I think as long as we're at the top of our game and doing things right, we'll, we'll be just fine. Well, Avs fans have just loved having you here since you've been You've made an immediate impact. It's been so fun. But from your perspective, what have you enjoyed most uh, about being an Av? Um, I mean, playing <laughs> playing with the, like the playing with the players here has yeah. been uh, an awesome experience and opportunity for me. The team is so good um, just to be out there on the ice with them and contribute. Um, to be a part of a team that has the potential to go and win a lot of hockey games mm -hmm. and go on a deep playoff run. That's that's probably the thing that sticks out for me and is really special. And I'm looking forward to continue to contribute. And hopefully we do go on a nice run here. When you look at uh, last night's game, uh, Jared Bednar was kind of saying a lot of uncharacteristic mistakes, just things you guys don't always do. So a game like that, that was obviously maybe a little disappointing, right? Because mm -hmm. it took out the one seed. But how do you kind of move on from that and just take what you need and forget the rest? Yeah, you know, I think that's something you have to do throughout the seasons quite a bit. Um, obviously, long season, a lot of games. There's going to be those nights that happen. Um, so it's something you just kind of flush. We, we talked about some things today and corrected some things. And we know that as players and the coach staff, you know, they know that that's not something that's going to happen every night. So. We'll work through it and uh, we'll go the next game and reset and just do our best. And uh, I think things are going to work out just fine. Well, it is a long season, but mm -hmm. you're hopefully playing for another two months, yep. right? That's the hope. So what are you doing right now physically, mentally to get yourself right for what could be another another quarter of the season, theoretically? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, you want to play those extra games. Um, it's a lot of maintenance. You want to make sure you're taking care of your body, eating right, getting the rest you need. Um, and again, this team does a wonderful job, the training staff. Um, even coaching staff, they, they make sure we get our rest on, on days, practice days even. Um, mentally, I'd say you just take it day by day. You know, you don't want to look too far in the future and you want to forget about yesterday. So just uh, reset, go into the next day, make sure you're feeling good and, and play good hockey. What's harder, like the December, the February slog, or like right now when you're like that close to the playoffs, but you still got to get through these games? Um, the December part of the year is definitely, you're like, wow, this is that 
we still got so many games, but then all of a sudden it flies by and you're, now you're in this time of the year. So um, I think this year is easy. This part of the year is easier. You know, you're, you're really excited for the playoffs to come up. Um, and yeah, we're going to ramp it up here and we're really excited. Well, Sean, we are so thrilled to have you as a member of the Colorado Avalanche. Can't wait to see what you do in the playoffs. Thank you for taking the time for joining us tonight. Thank you for having me. Appreciate we it. Really, really appreciate it. Guys, thanks for logging on. We will see you next time.